All right, we do this in one take and one take only. What's up, YouTube? We're on to another video, and this is for the extremely beginners. You just bought tech and you've been playing for a few days, and movement feels awful. I'm here to help you learn how to move. I've been having a lot of people on my Twitch chat being like, "Yo, bro, I'm trying to sidestep, but I'm teabagging, bro, on accident. I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try to move forward, and I'm doing this." I'm doing that, bruh. I'm doing this crowd walk. I don't even know how I did the cartwheel. Don't worry. I got you. I'll explain the basic movement mechanic. And then you build your fundamentals. Then we'll move on to a more high level, like the wave dash, Korean back dash, and all that stuff. We'll get to that later. But for now, the basic fundamentals of how to move is what we're going to be tackling. So easy. In fact, I could do it all in one take. You didn't see that disconnect. So, this is how we're going to do this. If you hold forward, you'll move slowly forward. If you hold back, you'll move slowly back. We're going to cover over everything. If you hold down, you will crouch. If you hold down forward, then you don't have to be from crouching. You just hold down forward. You'll get this crab walk or crouch walk, whatever you want to call this. You can do this just by holding it down, then forward. You can tap this. If you tap up, you will sidestep up. If you hold up, you will jump. If you hold up back, you'll jump back. If you hold up forward, you'll jump forward. If you tap, then hold, tap, then hold, you will sidewalk like this. Tap, then hold. If you tap, then hold in the other direction, you'll get the exact same thing. Tap, then hold. That multi tap. Don't don't do this, right? Tap and hold. Tap and hold. Right? Tap double tapping just get you this. Tap and hold will get you the walk. Now, if you double tap back, you go back dash. If you double tap forward, you will forward dash. If you have enough distance between you and your opponent, if you double tap forward, you will automatically run towards your opponent. Due to Tekken 8, if you are close to the opponent, Double tapping forward won't get you the run, but tapping forward three times will give you a small run. This makes it easier for new players to do while running moves very close. I can be up close to Paul and do while running three with this new mechanic. It's super simple. If you're a king player, it's super simple to get instant shining wizard because it's easier. It's easier to do. With that being said, if you aren't super close and you double tap, you won't be exactly on top of them now all these mechanics can be cancelled into each other with another movement and this is how you get players to do things like this they dump they sidestep and then they hold back so they do this right look how fast you can cancel your movement right this is how you players start doing stuff like this right they're canceling movement and they're looking for an opening this is what you see people do and all I'm doing is nothing but up down left and right to make my character move how I want, right? More advanced move attack will help you move more freely, but for now, just holding, just tapping up, down, left, right will help you move the way you want, right? Just practice tapping these four directions, right? And that's how you move attacking. Any more advanced options will come later. And remember, super important, Practice on both sides. It's very important that you practice on both sides. I don't care what you're doing. Practice on both sides. Right? Combos, execution, wave dash. Practice on both sides. Right? And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's very simple. If you do have any other questions, or if you do want a more advanced guide, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, Please leave a like. I'm trying to I'm trying to you know do my thing with the tech and stuff. So if you do like it, please leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.